हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द 8085 माइक्रो प्रोसेसर प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज सो टुडे वी डूइंग दिस प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज रजिस्टर ऑपरेशंस द फर्स्ट वन इज अ राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू शिफ्ट एन 8 बिट डेटा 4 बिट्स राइट अज्यूम द डेटा इज इन रजिस्टर सी सो वी टू शिफ्ट द डेटा व्हिच इज इन रजिस्टर सी फोर टाइम्स टुवर्ड्स राइट सो वी नीड टू स्टोर सम डेटा लेट अस फर्स्ट सी द प्रोग्राम सो सी द प्रोग्राम हियर सो द फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन इज MVIC 0FH, okay. So we will store some data. MVIC 0F. So with this particular instruction, 0F will be stored in register C. Okay. Then move A comma C. So with this move A comma C, the data from register C will be transferred to register A. Okay. So this register A becomes 0F because we will, we need to actually rotate the data four times, right? and rotation of data can only there is a logic operation can only done with respect to a we cannot rotate the contents of c directly so what we do we transfer the contents of c to a now uh, before doing this rrc operation we will write this data in binary so 0f can be written as 0 is 4 zeros and f is 4 ones now uh, with this rrc what will happen the data of register a will shift four uh, one bit towards right okay so what will become this uh, particular bit will transfer here this will transfer here so all the bits will transfer one bit towards the right and this bit will go to the leftmost one right transfer so what we will have is 1 0 0 0 1 okay with this first rrc with the second rrc what will happen again one bit transfer towards the right so this will transfer here and all these bits will transfer to the right side so 1 1 then four zeros then two ones one more rrc so this will have 1 1 1 then four zeros and this one then actually there is one more rrc so of course this rightmost one will come here okay and this four zero will come here so after four rotations what we have in register a would be f0 because this 41 is f and this 40 is 0 now let us execute this in uh, in that particular simulator jubins so this is our program this are uh, the memory location and this is the hex code of the program we'll enter these two things there is a memory location and the hex code in the jubins simulator you can note it down and we'll do that now we execute it so reset go 8000 and execute now the result is in actually register a we should have f0 okay so reset okay and then sorry register register a okay. sorry a is here sorry a so we have f0 in register a and in c there was 0f and in f uh, in a we have f0 okay so this is the output let us now go to the second pro Now this is the second program program to shift a 16 bit data one bit left and assume that the data is in hl register pair so we have to do a 16 bit transfer left bit and it is uh, the data is stored in hl register pair so what is the trick so the very first instruction we we'll see that directly the program understand the program so the first instruction is alexa h5555 h So what does this instruction do? Alexi H5555. It will store this 55 and 55 in HL register pair. The first 55 is stored in H, and the next lower byte 55 is stored in L. Now we write this in binary. This data H is in this color, so this 50101, and then again 0101 because it is 55. In L also we have 55, so 01. Zero one, zero one, and zero one. Okay. Now, dad h. We are using this instruction. Dad h. Dad is double add. So this dad instruction, it adds the content of H L. In this case, H L with H L. 
okay there is one more dad dad d is also there and dad b also there so dad d it adds the contents of hl with d and stores in hl now this is dad h so dad h it adds the contents of hl with hl and stores the result in hl now let's see what happens with this so we are adding hl with hl double add so this one zero one zero one add it again zero one zero one and a little also zero one we are adding them okay. now this trick works with what we want now one plus one you just add this one plus one is zero carry one then again one plus one zero and then carry one so this becomes one so this again zero one zero one so we are adding this okay this with this and this with this of course so zero one zero one you can check it out and zero one so this is our result which is in hl and what this is what we have got so this was our original data zero one 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 zero and what we got is one zero 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 so all the data bits they have transferred one bit towards the left okay so here we have transferred the data without using the uh, rotate instruction so this works with this dead instruction okay so this is how we do the program now let us so this is the actually the code you can note down the code and we we'll enter this code in the jubin simulator memory location as well as the hex code now we execute the code so reset go 8000 and execute okay now after executing in hl we had stored f555 uh, so after executing the bits are shifted one left so it will become aa aa in hl okay so uh, reset and then register let us see first h so h contains aa okay which was expected and l also contains a so that's how we do this program now we go to the third one so this is the third program so write a set of instructions to alter the contents of a flag register in 8085 so this is the program you can note down the memory location and the hex code and this is the these are the mnemonics so there may be other way to do the same okay so one program can be done in various ways i am preferring this one using the stack pointer so let us see the uh, i'll explain the code the instructions the first instruction is lxi sp ff ff now this lxi sp is we are actually initializing the stack pointer with this instruction lxi sp ff ff so our stack pointer will be at this point this location sp okay this is sp okay then next instruction what we do is uh, we write the instruction lxi h 5555 now this instruction lxi h 5555 will store the contents ff in h oh sorry 55 in h and the next 55 in l next instruction is lxi d a a a a so this first a a byte will be this byte will be stored in d and the next in e okay now next instruction is uh, we are using this push h now this push instruction it will uh, push the contents of hl on the stack pointer such that the stack pointer will first decrement okay this decrement and the contents of l that is this one is stored in location in this fffe the stack pointer decrements again so here we have stack pointer here and the contents of h are stored here okay so this is done okay so first instruction is push h next instruction is push psw now psw means program status word so it is a combination of uh, a as well as flag register now what this pop instruction will do this pop instruction will actually pop the contents from the stack pointer location to register a and flag register such that this okay the data on the stack now no, no the stack point is pointing at ff ffd okay so this data will come here the stack pointer will increment and this data will be stored here 
and the stack pointer will increment and come back to this particular location. Now as we can see the contents of flag register are 55. 55 five means 0101. Whatever be the previous control, we have 0101. So these are there are five flags. And actually the flag register is of 8 bit, but only five flags are of use. Then we do the instruction push D. Now with this push D instruction, what will happen? The stack pointer is now at because of this pop the stack pointer is now at sp is here so with push d the stack pointer decrements and the contents of e this aa will be stored here the stack point decrements again and the contents of d they are stored here so now a is stored on the stack pointer now with pop psw again the data which is on the stack pointer location is transferred to a and then to the flag register so this becomes actually AA and this also becomes AA. Now the flag register becomes AA. Now AA is 10, 10, 10, 10. So now we can see this has changed. Okay. And then the hold instruction. This is how we can actually change the contents of flag register using push and pop. There can be other ways also. Now let us execute this code on Jubin simulator. Now execute the code, so reset, go, 8000 0, 0, 0, and execute. Now after executing, we will check the contents of register A. So if register A contains A, flag will also contain the same thing. We cannot directly check the contents of register of the flag register. So then uh, execute it, then we reset and then register A, sorry A is here, A. so A contains A, so flag will also contain the same thing. Now we do the last program. So this is the last program, write a program to count the number of ones in the contents of D register and store the count in B register. So uh, whatever data is in register D, it may contain zeros and ones. It is a one byte, that is eight bits. So that eight bits may contain some zeros and some ones. So we need to count the number of ones and store the number in register B. So suppose if D contains four ones, so four should be in register B. If it contains five, five should be in register B. So this is the required code. We store some data in register D. This is the hex code and this is the memory location. You can note it down. We will enter this in the Jubin simulator. Okay, this is the code. Now let me explain the code. Okay. So these are the instructions. The first instruction MVID 55H. So we are storing some data. So this data is 55H in register D. Then uh, next instruction MVIB 00H. So because we want to find the number of ones in register D, so we first of all clear register B and make it as 00. Okay. Then MVIC 08, so we are storing 08 in register C because uh, in order to find the number of ones in the register, we need to rotate the data. And because there are 8 bits, so we need to rotate the data 8 times. So therefore we are setting C as the counter, so 08. Now next instruction is move A comma D. Now this A comma D, it will transfer the contents of register A to register register D to register A. So this becomes 5, 5 because we need to rotate the data and rotation cannot be done without register A. So A contains 5, 5. Now next instruction is RAL. What is RAL? RAL is uh, rotate accumulator right. Okay. Uh, sorry, rotate accumulator left through carry. Okay. RAL means rotate accumulator left through carry. So we are putting it left through carry. So first of all, uh, before understanding, we will just write this in the binary. This 5, 5 is, this is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Let us assume that carry is already reset. So with this RAL, what will happen? 
the, the this d7 bit this is 0 will transfer to this carry and this carry will transfer to d0 bit okay so and this all these bits they will transfer one towards the left so after this instruction what will happen we will have one zero one zero then one zero one and zero okay so carry is again carry is reset actually so after this ral what will have in carry so carry would be of course reset okay and this is the data which we will get in register a okay. it will become this okay. so this is after the ral instruction okay. this is a a okay now after this ral we are given the instruction jnc jnc means jump if no carry so because this carry there is no carry carry is reset actually so we are telling the microprocessor jump if no carry to star star means the jump location so this star is here so we will jump to this dcrc okay so uh, dcrc means what decrement the contents of register c now c was 8 it will become 7 okay then we check j with this jnz jnz means jump if no zero so we are checking whether c is zero if c is not zero then jump to this double star so double star is here okay so it will again go to ral we will do ral now next ral what it will do it will rotate left through carry so this will go here this will go here and all this will transfer to left one bit so what we'll have is carry will be set and here we have zero one zero one zero one zero one okay so after this rotate instruction what will happen is what we see is a uh, carry will be set now okay carry will be set and we have here zero one zero one zero one zero one now because carry is set so this is actually five five okay now after this we are checking jnc okay now jnc in this case now because carry is set now okay so this instruction what it does if it is not carry it will jump to star but because now carry is generated it won't jump and it will increment b now increment b means what b was 0 0 b will become 0 1 okay then again dcrc it will decrement the contents of c now c was 7 it will become 6 again jump if no 0 to double star will again jump to this rl this will continue for all the 8 bits and whenever there is a one is set when the menu carry is set this will become one so after all eight rotations this b will contain four okay so b will contain this four so this is how the program executes now let us do it on the jubin simulator and check the result Now after entering the code we executed so reset go 8000 and execute after executing we must get the result in register uh, B so B must contain 4 ok so this is B sorry reset register B so B contains 4 ok because D contain 5 5 and 1 5 contains 2 ones then another 5 contains 2 ones so there are 4 ones and that is what we have in register B. So that's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching.